Hi, welcome to Audubon at Home. My name is Iana, and this week we're learning all about Down by the Bay. Today we're going to do one of my favorite activities. We are going to build a boat. We're actually going to build two boats. We're going to build the first one out of natural materials that we find outside right here at our wildlife refuge in Bristol. So I'm not going to use any tape or glue or anything like that to build this boat. Just sticks and leaves and things that I find out in nature. The second one is going to be built out of things you can find around your house. Things like egg cartons, recyclable materials, you can use a little bit of tape or glue. Just make sure you ask an adult before you take anything for your boat project. Once we've constructed our boats, we're going to test them out and see how well they float. And if they do float, we can try and put a few rocks in them to see how much weight they can hold. So let's get gathering. I'm not going to pick any materials off of a living plant. I'm just going to collect things that I find on the ground. So let's start with some sticks. Oh, I've got some acorns here. What else can we find? Alright, I think I have enough materials to start constructing my boat. Let's see how it goes. Let's start building! Alright, here's my boat. We'll have to see if it floats. Now let's try making a boat out of some inside materials. All right, inside boat, ready to go. Got a little sail and everything. So let's go test them out. We have, we have made it down to the bay and we're about to test out our boats. This is our natural boat. This is our man-made boat. And we're gonna make sure we don't leave anything behind in the water. Let's see if the natural boat floats. It does! All right, let's see if the man-made boat floats. It also does. So both of our boats are a success. Now we're gonna test to see how much weight each boat can hold. So we're starting off with our natural one again, making sure it floats, it does. It's taking on a little bit of water. We're gonna pile some rocks on it and see how much weight it can hold. All right, that's one rock. Oh, it fell off, let's get another one. One. Two, three, we lost them. So this boat is not the most structurally stable, but it hasn't sunk yet. Oh, all right. So I don't think it's really gonna hold more than three rocks at a time because it's not very flat. It's kind of roundish, but no matter how many rocks I put on it, it seems like it's gonna float, unless it was really heavy. Let's try a big one. Yeah, but it pops right back up. So we know that the materials I made it out of are great for floating in the water. Let's try our man-made boat. See how many rocks this one can hold. This one's a little bit of a better shape for it. One, two, three, Taking on some water. Four, five, six, six, and it goes down and flips itself over. Now let's see if it'll float while it's wet. It still floats, even though it got wet. Let's see what happens when you put a big rock on it. This one sinks a little more than the other one. So this one held more rocks, but the other one was a little better at staying afloat after it sunk. See how it's kind of dipping into the water now? After a while, these materials are gonna to start to fall apart in the water, while our natural one is probably gonna float for a long time. 
we would love to see how your boats came out and which ones floated better. So if you took this challenge and made some of your own boats, take pictures of them and feel free to tag us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can find us on all of those and we'll see which boats are the best. Thank you for joining us for Audubon at Home.